Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are reinstalling our motor. If you watched a previous video on this bike, you know that we just pulled the motor out of this bike. And I didn't say what engine we're putting back in, so today I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the motor we're gonna be putting back in the Hawk 250 here. It is a X-Pro 250, but it's the six speed with the counterbalance. This same engine is found in the Templar X. And the reason why I went with this one, it's a true 250. So it's putting out close to 20 horsepower, which old motor is only putting around probably 14, 15, as well as it is a six speed. The, the Hawk X motor is a five speed. Now they're both counterbalanced, so we're gonna, that's gonna be really good for long trips, not much vibration at all. All these China made bikes and frames and motors, the back two bolts, the really the bolts that are centering it up, you know, with your rear wheel and your sprocket, those are pretty much always the same, which is really, really nice. So really, you could swap in any motor as long as it fits here inside your inside your frame and then you're just gonna have to figure out one or two extra motor mounts let's get started come into the bike here come where the motor is this motor is pretty heavy I would say again around I would say this motor is pretty heavy again probably around between 60 and 80 pounds so if you're not strong enough try to get somebody else to help you with this put it back in the same way it came out so again my hands on the exhaust stud and the gear shifter and we're pretty much going to have to put it up and in here now i'm trying to line it up with these holes here in the motor not really so much focusing on the front but more the back holes so again i'm going to pick it up here try not to run it against the ground if you can up. Yeah, this thing is not light so once you get it roughly close Grab your Hawk 250 bolts that you had in here before, and at least try to either put the bottom one or the, or the top one in here. Come on. Come on. All right, this I got one started. Now again, I'm gonna grab my top motor mount here. It's kind of the more the weirder one. Slide this in. Again, just try to line it up. Ooh. So this here is our top mount, so I want to see if this fits at all either. I've been messing with this probably for about 25, 30 minutes. I asked my dad to come help me out here, just have an extra set of hands, but this top bracket fits perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and snug these up and snug my two back brackets up too as well. Alrighty guys, well, we made a big progress. We got our top motor mounts on. I got our two bottom motor mounts on. Super excited about that. Um, like I said, I knew this wasn't gonna go in perfectly. This top bracket here does not, does not reach. The bottom bolt here doesn't reach. So I've only got three main supports holding it on. Um, that's, that's probably gonna be okay, but we're gonna go the extra mile and get some some brackets built here now i don't know yet how i'm going to get that done my fiance's brother is kind of a welder fabricator so he might be able to do something here but uh for now we're just gonna go ahead and start putting all the small stuff back on all right guys it's getting pretty dark walk away all right i can't take you seriously when you're standing right there look at that got a blooper going. it's getting a little dark out here and i don't have a lit garage so I might have a little time lapse of me just kind of putting stuff back on, not talking, because I just don't know the quality. I don't know how good it's going to look or not.
Hey there guys, so it's been about two days. Um, I just want to give you a heads up. Obviously we have the bike all back together, but I want to tell you about the process here. It was not exactly just plug and play. Um, so we got the motor in, all the pieces fit up nicely, the exhaust, carburetor, all that stuff was working good. And I remember I swapped the stator out because the stator was already on the, the old motor. I plugged it all up. And I just could not get the bike to run. It would, it would burble. It would pop. It wouldn't. It would not light off. It would not sit there and idle. So I couldn't figure it out. Some guy said on the forums that uh, you have to swap out the flywheels, and I did not want to get into that because um, then you have to have a flywheel puller. You have to have a special tool. I didn't want to start digging into that and kind of digging that hole. So. I went ahead, I have a donor KP Mini 100, it's the carbureted version, and actually this motor was in that bike originally, so I didn't make a video about it, because the motor was blown up, and it's, I don't have the title for it, or license plate, or whatever, but I put this motor in that bike, and that was kind of my testing, my testing bike, right, that thing hauls by the way, that thing is super fast when you put this motor in that kind of Grom style bike, and I almost went 100 miles an hour on that thing not very safe um but so i couldn't get the bike to run this was this was friday night i could not get the bike to run i tried everything in the book i had spark i had fuel i so i knew the motor was good i think it's something with the with the timing that that the flywheel's got timing marks on it or something i don't know but anyways i did a complete 180 swap so i took the whole wiring harness off the kp mini and put it on the hawk so the the rectifier the coil all this stuff i took the whole harness and put it on this bike here i had to rewire it for the dash thankfully all these bikes are super super similar as far as the color that they're using and what the wires are for so that wasn't too bad but so that was friday saturday saturday morning i finished up putting everything back together like the headlight you know getting the brakes to work all that good stuff i had to rewire a few things and then I rode it all yesterday. I probably rode this thing for two hours yesterday. Went on the highway with it. I'm telling you, this motor is not even in the same ballpark as that stock motor. I mean, I was going 75, I was cruising 75 miles an hour in six gear on this bike and I had more throttle to go. Yesterday was a super windy day. We had a north wind. I was going 100% against that wind on the, on the interstate. I was holding 65 miles an hour in top gear. Uh, I could have gone faster, but I was just cruising, just really wanted to feel it out. So it definitely does have some pull, um, but it doesn't have a ton of power, right? You're not on a you're not on a 600 bike. You're not going to just push that wind and go 120 miles an hour. So you you're definitely going to be still underpowered if it's a really windy day. Um, but then obviously I turned around. Now the wind's to my back. Man, you can you could fly. This thing this thing could go 85 miles an hour if you really wanted to, but I don't I didn't build this one to be a speed demon I just wanted that six gear just to feel comfortable right you don't hear the bike is revving to the moon so overall perfect perfect motor for this bike some other motors they, they were talking about that there's a 300 out there which is a four valve again six speed counterbalance that's gonna make even more power than this but uh I just wanted to do this motor I had it laying around it was a true 250 and, and you can tell i think this thing puts out again around that 20 21 well i have a, i have an exhaust and a carburetor so it might be pushing a little bit in the low 20s whereas the, whereas the hawk motor is like 15 16 and trust me you can feel the difference um you could definitely feel the difference between the two motors so yeah oh and i also found a motor mount from the kp mini uh, front motor mount i just used just the two bolts to hold it in so it, it's got it's got one, two, three, four supports. I think I'm gonna leave that alone. I didn't notice any excessive vibration on the highway yesterday. If that, in fact, any, I don't think I remember any vibration because this motor is still counterbalanced. So super, super nice. So again, I just want to be upfront and honest with you. On this swap, I'm gonna say one more time, this was not a plug and play. So I would not recommend this unless you're ready to really get your hands dirty and possibly your wallet. Um, some guy in the forums said all you got to do is swap out the flywheels 
and the stator. I didn't do that, so I'm not gonna tell you that works. Um, again, for me, I basically took a KP mini wiring harness, threw it on this bike, rewired a few things like the brake and the headlight, and now we're good to go. So I'm even using the KP mini controls here. And I try to keep this throttle, I like this throttle. I was out here literally on Friday until two in the morning, swapping harnesses over. It was a whole big deal, but I don't know yet if I'm gonna put the old motor in the KP mini with that wiring harness or just leave that here as a spare in case this blows up. But I think I might just swap it in that bike. That way I have another one to mess around on. But uh, so one last thing that I wanted to mention before I go is the big reason why I did this swap. I'm thinking about doing a little bit of moto camping, a little bit of traveling, right? I've got my two bags on here. I've got a Kimi moto bag that sits pretty high. You know, you can put your uh, sleeping bag, your tent on the back here and some other stuff. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. But uh, yeah, that's kind of why I did this motor swap. If you're just going around the area here, 45, 50 miles an hour, it's perfect. So that's kind of why I really, I really didn't want to swap out the engines on these things. That one's good for just putting around. It makes low power, you know, it, it's, it's easy to control, but it's not good for the highway. This one is actually good for the highway. I can cruise, I can probably ride out an hour. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta put the oil cooler back on, but you know, I could ride for an hour or two up north, stay in the forest for a night. So that was kind of my idea was that moto camping. So let me know if y'all wanna see that. Alrighty guys, well, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one and I'll catch you next video.